Chantal Roberts. I'm one of the cosmetic injectors for Juve. I'm here today to talk to you about what makes a nurse successful in their own business. One of the most important things to understand is that your results are what is going to ensure that you have new and repeat clients uh, attending your practice. You attract more customers if you're known for your results and when you've trained in a new area, the most important thing to remember is you, you need to practice. Everyone is new at a new skill. No one starts out knowing exactly what they're doing. The best thing for you to do is get someone in and practice, practice, practice. So when patients feel their best from their results, uh, they are more likely to refer uh, other patients to us. It's really important that our patients buy into us as an injector. We need to invest time, patience and care into not only our first consultation with the patient, but every time they're in for an appointment. We want to make sure that they're feeling really special every time they attend an appointment. Word of mouth is extremely important and we want good word to spread. So if you keep your patients happy, make them feel special every time they come in, they'll tell everyone around them and they'll keep attending as well. So social media presence is an extremely important factor in gaining new patients and showcasing your work. The most important photos that I feel that people really enjoy seeing is before and afters and that's because this really showcases your work and what results you're able to achieve. Always have your patients return for a follow-up. This way you're able to get the best results shown on photos for both anti-wrinkle and dermal filler. Obviously you need everyone to come in at two weeks for the best results. This way you're seeing settled in dermal fillers and your anti-wrinkle injections are going to be um, fully working as well. If a picture is worth a thousand words, a video is worth a thousand pictures. Videos on social media really allow future patients to essentially meet you through their phone. This familiarises the patient with your manner, attitude and friendliness. So when they decide to choose an injector, they're more likely to book with you because they feel like they already know you before they've even met you. Knowing your numbers is the key to ensuring that you're using your time wisely. Working out how many patients you see each week and working out your average sale is the best way to see if your business is going to be sustainable. Your goal for an average sale should be around about $500 per patient and that's approximately in a half an hour to 45 minute appointment. Of course this is going to seem unachievable when you first start. When I first started I looked at that and I thought there is no way that I'm going to have that much, uh, that much in each sale and every 45 minutes but I'm just over 12 months in with my business with Juve and I'm already fully booked and I am seeing those numbers, which is really, really great. So it is achievable. For an example, if you see six patients a week at $500 of an average sale and working 40 weeks of the year, your gross sales annually will be $120,000. If you see double the amount of patients, so 12 patients in a week at $500 per patient, this is then $240,000 gross sales per year. When your net profit should be approximately half of your gross sales, you can see how easy it is to have a sustainable injectable business. With rebooking your patients, at the end of every appointment, you do want to rebook, rebook, rebook. All new patients will need a two week follow up for every appointment, anti-wrinkle and dermal filler, and all of your patients for dermal filler will need two week follow ups. But the most important appointment to rebook is their next treatment. Even if patients say to you, oh no, it's okay, I'll go home and do it myself, you want to rebook it right then and there. So rather than asking them if they want to rebook their appointment, just say to them, look, I'm just going to book in this appointment for you. That way it's a reminder for your next appointment or uh, it's already in there as I'm going to be fully booked at that time. So this way your appointment is in there, we can change it as it gets closer. This way, the patient is more likely to return consistently and they're less likely to cancel their appointment with you. If you have any questions about these processes, please contact the Juve team.